What's up guys, Awesome Nerd Show here doing another episode of My Morphin Collection. And today we have the new Power Rangers Ninja Steel DX Rumble Tusk Megazord. So um, this is the second one to the um, DX Ninja Steel Megazord that was in the last video um, that they came out together. Of course getting ready for the new Power Rangers Ninja Steel show coming on next year. Um, so I don't know exactly what this Zord is, if this is kind of like the 6th Ranger Zord or what, um, with it being all green and everything, and it's got a new, like, elephant, like, you can see it there and stuff, which I'm super excited about because I, um, love elephants and everything, so, um, I love all the elephant Zords they make and stuff, um, so it looks pretty cool and everything, so here's a view from the back of more what it's gonna look like and everything, so it's pretty much the same as last one, just with some different, uh, items and everything so we'll go ahead and open it up from the, the, that's the inside products and again we have the instructions that are in the back of the box and stuff which you may have to use to figure out where stuff goes or why stuff's missing but again I'm going to take this um, stuff out of the package and then come back because this makes a lot of noise stuff so once I get this all out I'll bring it right back okay so I got all the pieces out now and so here of course is the Zord so we'll go ahead and get it in its Zord mode to start out with. So I'll stand it up like that. Then we got to um, take this Paper Ranger out again. Pop this head off. Take the Paper Red Ranger again, which I think looks really cool. Um, I like their outfits a lot and stuff in this one. And then we'll put this piece on first, since I almost forgot it last time. Okay, and then you take the little um, green ring or whatever this thing is going to be. You put the elephant head on the front of it and then fold its legs up and then pop him down inside here somehow. Get him to fit inside. There we go. So we got that. And we'll put the face thing back on. And then, of course, we have the two uh, weapons, which are like axes, which I think are kind of really cool that they're axes and stuff. Come on. There we go. So, there is the completed version. It's hard to see this down angle and stuff, but like of his head and everything. And it just, um, I think it looks a lot cooler and everything. Um, but So that's gonna it for the uh, DX Rumble Tusk Megazord and stuff. And so now, of course, we'll take it apart and put all the dot animals and whatever back together. So we'll just pop all the pieces off. Get the guy back out of here. He's not wanting to get out of there. Okay, and then we'll pop all the arms off. But actually, we'll just stop here for now because we'll just do it piece by piece and stuff. Um, so we'll start with um, the elephant. And so I believe you just uh, fold his legs somehow. I may have to look at the instructions. I don't remember how you do this exactly. Um, I know you attach this part. Maybe to the front. Like that. And then put the elephant head on the front. Maybe I have to fold the head up. Oh yeah, fold the head up. Like that. And then the axes and stuff become the back legs, so you'll just attach them. And you have to do them together. So then of course they'll be held together with this um, parts into the holes. So they'll be held together there, and then you pop them on the back of that. And so there you have the elephant, which is <laughs> looks kind of weird, but cool at the same time. So we'll just see him over there. Then the dinosaur thing, um, unlike the last one, you don't really do anything. It's just kind of what it is. Um, it's just that. You don't add anything to it. It doesn't have any wings this time or anything. So again, just very basic as they do with these kind of zords and stuff. We'll pop 
chop the arm off and then the legs. If I can get them off. There we go. Okay, so go with the legs again. Then we'll fold this one down and the, over to the side. Then that part down and we'll take the dog out again. And again, all you do is just make sure the head's down and it's a little dog. Then on the train or leg, you fold that little piece out of the bottom again. Like that. And attach it to the bottom of the front part. Like that. And then now you have your train piece. And then with the last arm, you can attach it to the front, fold the wheels out, so now you have like a vehicle, fold that back part down, and so then you have like a little, like looks like army vehicle type thing or something, um, which looks, it looks cool, but I don't know if you like put the Power Rangers in and stuff, and so there's the different Zord items. Now let's look at our instructions here and see if there's anything else there is to do. And I'm not seeing... There's some weird thing with uh, the elephant, but it just looks like the little guy that forms the elephant has giant guns on his shoulders, and that's it. But you don't do anything with it. So it looks like that's pretty much it. So now we'll just go back into the um, Zord form. So we'll go and take the... Whoops, as I just pop that piece off. May have to put it back on. Let's see if I can get it on. Uh, there we go. So put that back. Set all this aside. Pop the arm off the front of this whatever. I don't know what you call it. Fold the legs back in. And of course it will go on the right side again of um, the body, torso, whatever. And so then we'll pop the legs back on. So I'll go ahead and fold the feet out, which you can do afterwards, of course. Let's see if it'll get on. So that one went on. Pop the other one on. And then before we fold that one up, we'll put the little dog back inside. And again, fold his head up and then fold the foot up. So now it stands as I knock it over. Then, of course, the dinosaur, you don't do anything to at all. We just put it back on the arm, like that, and then you'll, with the elephant, you pop the head off, pop this um, helmet thing off, pull the back legs out, and then split them apart to become the axes, and then obviously you take the little guy, make, fold his head up, not that I'm sure it really even matters. Then put him on the back of the elephant. Again, it's this peg into the hole on the back of the elephant. So you just pop him on there. Fold his legs up to the trunk. And oh yeah, you gotta fold this foot thing down. Then pop him inside there. Then take his the Zord helmet, fold the little mask down, and stick it on top of the head. And then again, you can take the axes and put them in the hands, and so you just put them on, um, slide this part into the hands. Which for this dinosaur, or this um, left arm, it's really difficult. For, or at that time, it wasn't difficult. But it's not going in very easily in the past. So then you stick it in like that. So and again, it's hard to see at this angle, but there's it um, straight on and stuff like that. And again, it looks um, cooler, at least in my opinion, especially with this elephant head on the front and stuff. Um, that's really all that there is to it with these new Zords. They're just so simple and easy. Um, so that's going to be it for the um, new DX Rumble Tusk uh, Megazord from Power Rangers Ninja Steel. I love that Rumble Tusk name and stuff. Um, but that's going to be it for that. Um, be sure to hit that thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave any comments you have down below. Hit the red subscribe button and check out um, all the other My Morphin Collection episodes of, of Power Ranger items and stuff. And we will see you next time.